I started singing, I can't remember what song I was doing, but uh, the next door had a next door neighbor had one of those yappy little dogs and it started barking and you could hear it in the thing. And I was, they wanted me to redo it. I was like, no, no, please, I want, I want that dog to be in there. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the 13th floor. I'm Marty Duda. Today we have Joshua Headley, direct from Nashville. Yes, sir. Ready to rock the tuning fork. Ready as I'll ever be. All right, uh, how was the flight? Uh, it never gets any easier. Yeah, it's no? always long. Yeah, I know. Um, I was able to, I was able to uh, get some sleep on it with the help of uh, some fine American pharmaceuticals. So. Beautiful thing. I, yeah. need, I can never seem to sleep. I'm too tall and it's just yeah. too painful. Yeah. yeah, it's miserable. But uh, the first thing that we need to address is your decor. Uh, I can't help but noticing the fine patches that you have all over your... Is this a, a Nashville thing, or is it a Florida thing, or is it just a you um, thing? It's just a me thing, I guess. I actually got this, um, this vest in Australia from the fine people at Levi's Custom Tailor Shop, Melbourne. Nice. So, yeah. But and, I assume the patches are your own. Some, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got Florida's for lovers. Yeah. Even fish wouldn't get caught if they kept their big mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> and a little, a little tribute to Toby Keith at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love it. All righty. So let's get down to business here. Uh, you're coming down, you're going to be doing a show at the Tuning Fork tomorrow night, and w you and Willie Watson. You haven't played together before. Never, no. Uh, but you kind of know each other, I assume. Yeah, yeah. I know Willie from his days with Old Crow, and uh, I'm good friends with all those boys back home, and that's just sort of how we met. But we haven't seen each other in a long time until basically just now in the hotel while I was leaving and he was coming back. Ah, well, maybe the two of you can work something out together. Yeah, it could be. Kind of cool. Somebody but got a fiddle laying around. I guess I could... There you go. You know. Did you bring your fiddle with you? I didn't, no. I was very excited to not have to fly with any musical instruments this time. We've got Bungalow Bill's around the corner. I bet he's got one. Yeah. So yeah. One for you. But, uh, but when I spoke to you on the phone before you came here a couple of weeks ago, I think we were talking about the fact that you were in the process of making a record. I am, and yeah. Has anything happened since uh, we spoke last? I, uh, I have two songs in the can, and now it's just a matter of... Uh, getting them into the hands of, I got a couple labels interested and uh, just trying to see if they want to give me some more money to finish it, you know? Because right. would, I would much rather them give me money than have to come up with it myself. Right, that makes, that, that's how the old system worked. <laughs> yeah, <And> yeah. Then, <laughs> as you might have, I'm a little old school. <laughs> so. And one of the songs that you're gonna perform for us now is a new song. Yeah. Is this one of the ones that you already recorded? Or it is not, already? it's not been recorded yet and it's, barely even been played so it's called no song to sing it is yeah tell me about it uh i was writing it i was i had uh ever since i wrote weird thought thinker i was kind of in a funk as far as writing went and it went on for a year or so where i could i just couldn't think of anything to write and uh just no inspiration and then i kind of just sort of was like, well, maybe I'm just not a writer. And, uh, you know, I just don't have anything worth singing or whatever, you know? And then I was sort of just like, well, okay. And I kind of wrote it and uh, it just was one of those songs that poured out of me. And, but not enough of it poured out of me. So I called up uh, my friend, Johnny Fritz, and uh, I said, man, I just, you know, I, I wrote this song and I've never co-written before. And uh, I got, I got this, here's this. And I sent him, you know, I just recorded it on my phone and sent it to him. I said, could you write another verse to it? And uh, he did and he wrote a great one. So, and now, uh, now I have another, a new song. Cool. What so, would have happened if he, he didn't write a great verse? Would you have told him? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never thought about it because it didn't occur to me that he wouldn't <laughs> because he's fantastic. And, um, but uh, I probably would have just repeated the first verse or something, you know, <laughs> which is the old Johnny, Cor the old Johnny Corn Dog trick, you know, just sing two verses, repeat the first one. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It's a tried and true It is a method. method. It yeah. is. All righty. Well, let's give it a listen and we'll come back and talk some more. All right. Cool.
ain't got no song to say Only the silence that loneliness brings I guess I could try But I fear I might die If I have to give away what's left of me And I ain't got no song to sing I ain't got no place to be Everyone's talking, they're worried about me But I'm not alone when I'm here at home I've got my programs I watch on TV And I ain't got no place to be Everyone leave me alone I'll never answer the phone It might be depression But I don't need a lesson Or a lecture on how you think I'm supposed to be And I ain't got no song to sing Everyone leave me alone I'll never answer the phone It might be depression But I don't need a lesson Or a lecture on how you think I'm supposed to be And I ain't got no song to sing I ain't got no song to say No way to convey what's going on with me The words come out wrong When I put them to song So I give up on trying to say what I mean And I ain't got no song to say I ain't got no song all right, Joe, we're here with Joshua Headley at the 13th floor, just before his performance at the Tuning Fork. Um, for the show itself, what can you can you give us an idea of what to expect? What, what's um, going to happen? I'm just going to play some depressing country songs. Excellent. Uh, Those are the best kind. Yeah. <laughs> some of which I wrote and some of which I didn't. And uh, I've been, you know, I've always kind of, I grew up in honky tonks. I started playing in American Legions, VFWs. I don't know if they have equivalents. Yeah, we have RSAs here. Which RSAs, is similar, yeah. yeah. I grew up playing in those when I was 10 years old. And, uh, kind of moved from there into regular bars back home in Florida and then moved up and immediately started playing on in the honky tonks on Broadway uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's pretty much the only thing I've ever done. So I do a lot of classic country covers. Cool. Yeah. And those are my favorite. So if I could make a living, if I could make a real living just doing that, I would be more than happy to do that. <laughs> UB40 did it, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they did get away with it, didn't they? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, so you're going to do one of these classic country songs for yeah, us now, course, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, Johnny Paycheck song. Uh, good old Donald Eugene Lytle, Johnny Paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever met any of these guys, these classic? Uh, are, I don't know, Johnny Paycheck, I don't think he's still around. No, he? no, no, he's he's long gone, but... Uh, are there, I, like, ghosts of these guys floating around Nashville, Tom yeah, D. Hall? Yeah. You know, and, Tom's around. I haven't met work. Tom. He's not doing much. His After his wife died, he kind of just reclused back into doing nothing. And uh, I did get the chance to germ the living shit out of uh, 
uh, both Chris Christopherson and John Prine. Nice. John Prine almost literally ran away from me. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh my, I was drunk. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God. Nikki Lane invited me into this Cowboy Jack Clement thing they were doing. And she just kept handing me free drinks. And I was like, I'm getting drunk. And she's like, good, that's what it's for. And uh, she's like, here, come meet all these people. And I was like, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, I, I had a moment with John Prine where I think I scared him a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. How I was mean, Chris Christopherson? He was, he was a high buy, like, like uh, oh, okay, yeah. bye. I met him here backstage at his show a couple of years ago. He was the nicest guy. He's 80. I know. I can't believe he's 80. He looks great. Yeah. And the thing that struck me was I was sitting very close to the stage and I could see him performing and he was nervous. He gets real bad stage yeah. fright. You can see his hands kind of shaking and yeah. stuff. And I was like, my God, the guy is 80 years old. He's been doing this for 45, 50 years. And he's still. Yeah. Gets and what old. was it? They recently, they thought he was, uh, he had dementia, but it ended up being something else that was completely treatable. I can't yeah, remember excellent. what it was, Thank but, God. and now he's totally fine. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, back to Johnny Paycheck. Yeah. Uh, apartment number nine. Apartment number nine. Uh, I believe he wrote this with a guy named Bobby Austin. And I do a lot of DJing back home, and I have I actually have the Bobby Austin 45 of this. And it's funny because uh, the biggest hit was Tammy Wynette had on it, and she sings it the way that Bobby Austin did it, with all these different verses and stuff. And um, Johnny omits, <laughs> like, one or two verses of it and i can only think that johnny just decided to only sing the ones that he wrote <laughs> that's the only thing i like knowing sort of his personality and uh the only thing i could think of is that johnny paycheck just sang the songs or yeah. the words that johnny paycheck wrote I'm not singing his other crap <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> excellent all right are you gonna sing all of them I'm, I'm going to sing the Johnny Paycheck version. There you go. All right. Yeah. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by on yeah. your way down to the Tuning Floor. Of it's course. Good to meet you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I can't it's wait nice to see the to, show. nice uh, to hear an American accent hey, in uh, you know, <laughs> New Zealand. The least I could do. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow the stairway to this lonely room of mine. You'll find me waiting in apartment number nine. Loneliness surrounds me without your arms around me. And the sun will never shine. In apartment number nine Not so very long ago Well, you said that you loved me and after all the dreams we shared, you decided to be free. Loneliness surrounds me without your arms around me. And the sun will never shine. In apartment number nine And the sun will never shine In apartment number nine There it is. Country music. Two-minute songs.